So this is a prime example of why you do not give up too soon when trying to find the owners of lost property from stuff that I find in the rivers. And it's just amazing how this all worked out. It was meant to be. Check it out. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's right below the dam. Right below so what the they're talking about the is I guarantee pulled this up out of the river by Voyager Park. So, cool. so what? So you found it off of Voyager Park? I found that uh, earlier, probably in the fall. I found that, and I've been trying to find the owner for months. I made videos about it, and I brought it with today, and he's seen it. And he always watches videos. But what? What would your like? Is it this at the diver? diver? Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't take long. Ed, what time did you get here? Um, like nine thirty. Nine thirty, and right now it is one twenty-seven, and we found. Potentially the rightful owner. We're gonna how, need how some. How can I prove it? Though? Yeah, you're gonna need some I'll, identification. I'll take, yeah. <laughs> well, that ain't gonna no, prove I know. So, <laughs> he's fishing right now on, on uh, the Okano River. Okay. He's still fishing for steelhead right now. I dive there too. He yeah. hits Voyager when the, he's even there before the run. I mean, he's one of the first ones in the world. What's his name? Adam Giorgio. I've had about six people say it was theirs, and they all lied to me. Hey, Adam. <laughs> Are you fishing right now? You just got one? Uh, what, what, a brown or a steel? A female brown, nice. Okay, well, I just sent you a picture that I swear to God, remember our red latch tackle boxes, the ones that have the plastic red latches? Did you happen to ever lose one down at Voyager Park? Well, right, during the, during the, uh, the walleye run. Do you ever watch edthediver.com? Did you ever see where he pulls, he dives and he pulls out lures? He has a tackle box here that I would be willing to bet $200, $400, $500, a thousand dollars that it's ours. It, the, every lure in it, every lure in it is our lures. Uh, even the jigs. He's got the big, the big flat sided ones on the, the ones that you love that uh, I'm standing here and I'm looking at this tackle box and I'm, Oh, he's, he's got the video. He's pulling it up right now. He's on his kayak and he's loading it up. I need to know if it's yours. That's cool that you posted that. I'm pretty excited. I brought this tackle tray with me that was found in the Fox River. Brought it with me to the show today. And uh, the owner's dad, actually, what's your name? Todd. Todd. Todd recognized the tackle tray. And uh, he said, that's my son's tackle tray. And he's pretty excited, pretty genuine. Um, I believe when we called the son, the son said he pretty sure he lost it. But this yeah, is it. That's it, <laughs> huh? It. Well, I'm glad I got it back, man. And I thank you for doing that, too. That is way beyond expected. It's just fantastic. Awesome. Well, he might not learn a lesson now that he got it back, but... <laughs> it's a good day. Had that for months, finally getting it back. You got yourself a new follower, too. All right, cool. All right. Thanks, man.